हेलो एवरीबडी लेट्स लर्न सम फैक्ट्स एंड फिगर्स रिलेटेड टू ईमेल राइटिंग ईमेल कम्युनिकेशन बिगिन्स विद द कंपोज एक्शन वेयर यू क्रिएट अ न्यू ईमेल फॉर क्रिएटिंग न्यू ईमेल वी हैव टू गो फर्स्ट फॉर द कंपोज एक्शन मींस वी हैव टू राइट आर ईमेल अ क्लियर सब्जेक्ट लाइन इज क्रूशल फॉर समराइजिंग द ईमेल्स कंटेंट मींस व्हाट एवर द कंटेंट और द मटेरियल स्टफ वी आर राइटिंग वी नीड टू समराइज इट इन द शेप ऑफ टाइटल means we have to write it in the subject line before sending our email when sending you enter the recipient's address and can use cc carbon copy to include others visibly in the correspondence or bcc blind carbon copy to include them without revealing their addresses to others there are many options first we understand this one recipient's address means the person whom we are sending our email there should be email address of that person and apart from it we have other option also that is of cc carbon copy when we want to send the same email to other person also for information purpose not for action purpose then we have to mention that email address in cc category and there is one more option that is bcc blind carbon copy when we don't want that the recipient or the person who is there in cc they should come to know that we have sent our email to some other person also this is for secret purpose in some organizations we need for this purpose and that's why blind carbon copy means here in this category we have to mention the address of the recipient where we want to send and the other recipients should not come to know you might add attachments for sharing files there are options for the attachments we can attach images we can attach pdf and there are so many options in it once composed after composing our email and attaching the documents you hit send then after that we have to click the button send and then the email goes the email lands in the recipient's inbox then recipients would find the email in his inbox if it's not relevant or desired if that person does not want or it is not relevant to him it might be moved to the junk mail or spam folder there are other folders also apart from inbox that is junk mail or spam folder where automatically emails go sometimes we do such settings or sometimes automatically when the system detects that it may be from some company or may be irrelevant may be spam or it goes in the junk mail or spam folder when organizing your inbox you can create various folders or labels and use filters or rules for automatic sorting there are many other options also as we receive so many emails then we can create the folders or we can label them means we can give some names or we can filter also means we can sort out or we can set some rules also means there are various options with us whichever the setting we want in our sorting of the emails we can set as per our convenience drafts are unfinished emails saved for later completion there is a provision for drafts and when we are not able to complete our composition means unfinished emails we can save them in the drafts or we have completed our email but we don't want to send it at the time of writing or for future purpose we want to save it then we can save it in the drafts bulk email is used for sending mass emails often in email campaigns or newsletters sometimes we want to send our email to a large number of people and we say bulk email for some campaigns or for some newsletters and for such purposes we have to create one group that is known as bulk email altogether many emails can be sent from one person at the same time phishing is a deceptive practice to watch out for where scammers attempt to acquire sensitive information through emails phishing is a type of cheating deceiving deceptive practice where the scammers means who want to commit the fraud they are on the watch out for attempting to acquire sensitive information through emails an email thread comprises the series of replies 
and forward stemming from an original email there is original email that is sent in the beginning and many other emails in the future are used sent in connection with the first email that was the original email and the other emails are known as email thread because they are concerned with the original email managing your email often involves regular inbox rules for efficiency and auto reply settings for times you are not available like an out of office reply there are many inbox rules also as we can set it for auto reply for efficiency and we can set it in the situation when we are not available or we are out of office lastly read receipts can be requested to confirm that the recipient has opened your email when we want to confirm that the recipient has seen or opened our email we can request for receipts there is a provision for read receipts each of these elements play a role in effective and secure email communication these are the elements that we have studied now they play very important role for effective and secure email communication thank you